Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Karen. I'm JD. Today we have a special guest. His name is Felix, and he's currently learning Chinese. 大家好，我是 Felix， 我来自德国，我二十六岁。Felix， 我听说德国人都很喜欢喝啤酒，是真的吗？<笑>当然，真的，我整天呃都在喝啤酒。当然，其实我现在有点醉。<笑>你学中文多久了？呃，两年多的。很厉害，说的很好。<笑>谢谢谢谢，你们呢？<笑><笑>我学了二十多年了，我一辈子都在学。所以 ，Felix， 你是汉语专业的吗？哦，不不，我只学的。我有空的时候，我才会学。我觉得，如果我是汉语专业的，呃，我的中文不会这么差。<笑>很谦虚，谦虚了，谦虚了。你觉得学中文最难？是什么呢？我觉得什么都很难，最难的是听力。中国人呃讲话太快。<laughs> you might find learning Chinese sounds challenging or daunting. However, with the learning process continuing, you will gradually realize learning Chinese is so funny and interesting. So today we're going to look at some of the tricky Chinese questions that have completely driven foreigners nuts. Let's dive in. So Felix, are you ready to take these challenges? Let's see. Chinese is really difficult. So question number one, something. 是擦下窗户好吗？我擦，我不擦。Question: 小明擦不擦窗户呢 ？And here we go. Did he clean the window or not? Yeah, I think like he doesn't want to do it, but I can't really explain why. <laughs> And your answer is definitely correct. First, because 我擦 is a like a funny way to say 我擦 Do you know what's meaning 我擦 Hmm, no、like, fuck. Usually, young people would like say 我擦 to express our feeling like 我擦 is like fuck. I don't want to clean the window. Question number two. 小明，今晚有课，你去不去？我去，我不去。Question. 小明去不去上课呢 ？Does she want to go to class or not? Uh, he, he. Sorry to all the Xiaomings. Yeah, I think it's the same pattern as before. He doesn't want to go. You have gotten it correct because 我去 as we talked before, it's similar like 我擦 softer versions of 我擦 Can you just use every verb? 我去，我不去 something like this. There are only specific words. I will add you one more word. It's called 我靠 If I receive my exam result, I'll be like 我靠 That's so fucking low. Question. Question number three. 小明，昨天那个女生是谁啊？你女朋友吗？你妹？我妹。Question. 那个女生是谁？ Um, is it his girlfriend? He's like answering like <laughs> your sister, my sister. Who do you think that? I think、is? I think it's his sister. Your most of the part is right because、mm-hmm. 你妹 is also like curse word. It's like 你妈 sounds、oh, like, like mom. Mom.、Oh, yeah, mom. Yeah, it's like、okay. greet your mom or curse your、oh, mom. Oh, I see, I see. So this means like oh,、uh, like your mom. That's my sister. Or like, exactly.、Yeah. Question number four. 小明，这本书是小红的吗？你大爷的，我的。Question: This book is who's? I think I get this one. They ask like Xiao Ming, is this like your book or like whose book is this? He says like the Yi Da Ye, which probably also means like screw you, that's my book or something like this. You got right. Also a similar pattern to the previous one. It also means like screw you. So the book is Xiao Ming. So when I want to be rude, I just take all of my relatives and throw them at someone's face. Theoretically, it's right, but、mm-hmm. usually we just use Yi Mei and Yi Da Ye or Yi Ma. Question number five. 小明，今天上课要不要带笔呀、啊？带毛笔呀、啊、？Question. 小明带不带笔 ？What is a, a 毛笔 ？It's those pens that you dip it in the ink and you write Chinese calligraphy with it. Um. Yeah. I mean, like, then it's obvious, right? Probably they have like calligraphy class, so she has to bring like this calligraphy pen, right? It sounds reasonable. However, the correct answer is no. 带毛笔 means 带毛线笔 Do you know what's meaning 毛线 I have no idea. A verb plus 毛线 it means negative. So oh, you're not doing it. Oh, oh, so you're like playing with the words here. Exactly. Oh, I see, I see.、Mm-hmm. So it's on purpose because this this、uh, 毛笔 also makes sense. Like, That's、oh. why they, it's tricky question to just、mm-hmm. confuse you. For example, I'm asking you to watch a movie tonight, and you want to refuse me. 小明，今晚一起看电影好吗？嗯、mm, ，对、so。What would you say? They say like.、Uh, Oh, exactly! You're very, so clever. Very good. So clever. <laughs> <laughs> Question number six. So the speaker. Boo 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 boo. T 恤打折啦，件件十元，样样十元，全部十元。Question: 什么十元 ？Okay, we get a discount for a T-shirt, right?、Mm-hmm. Exactly. 
。对 ，Red Video 渐渐样样 and 全部。那 like 渐渐 like the numerator for like 衣服 right like for clothes 样样 like what does what does it mean? So the answer is T-shirts. Ten yuan each piece. 渐渐 means every piece. 十元。样样 is the style of clothes. So every style of T-shirt. 十元。All of them. 十元。Question number seven. 你的牙真好看。哦、oh, ，那是假的啊！真的假的？真的。Question: 牙是真的还是假的 ？I think that's an easy one. So like the question is like, oh no, it's not a question. It's more like a statement. Like, oh wow, your teeth are so pretty. So he answers like, oh, they're fake. 那是假的。The other person can't believe it, so it's like, oh, what? They're really fake. Basically, the answer is like, 真的 which means like really. Yeah, they're really fake. Yeah, your answer is definitely correct. Explanation is also correct. <laughs> Uh, there's a difference between Chinese and English. In English, it will say yes or no based on the event itself, if it's true or not.、Mm -hmm. But in Chinese, you are answering yes or no based on the previous sentence. Question number eight. <laughs> I know German. They do it like this. Uncomplicated if, like this. <laughs> what if we only have one hand? Oh no, there's nine. <laughs> The question is, 小明，你要这个礼物呢，还是那个礼物呢？那个这个吧。Question, 小明要哪个 ？So the 那个 she's not referring to something. She's more like thinking. Uh, uh, 那个 you're thinking and you're like, uh, um,、uh, 那个那个啊这个。You got it right again. However, people might get confused or misunderstand Chinese because we always say 那个那个 when we make decisions. Some people might find this word is similar to English word nigga. Don't get confused. <laughs> Never offense black people like this. <laughs> Question number nine. 小明，你先说还是我先说？我说你说吧。Question. 谁先说 ？Yeah, this is similar to the、uh, question before. Like the 我说 is just like more like in like in my opinion or like、mm, I think that. So basically, she says or he says. Uh, 我说你说吧 which means just um I think you should say it first. Yeah, you're right. Question number ten. Ten. 小明，你饿不饿？呃，我不饿。Question: 小明饿不饿 ？I think this sounds more tricky than it actually is. I can read the hands here. He's he or she's asking like if Xiao Ming is like hungry, right? And what、right. for hungry is like 饿、uh. So she's answering 饿、uh, 我不饿 But actually, this 饿、uh, is more like the what you would also say in English, like the 饿、uh, mm, Well, no,、uh, I'm not hungry. So you got it right again. As you can see here, there are even different hands. 饿、uh, is like the U H. English. So Felix, that was all of the ten questions. How do you feel after this? Challenging. It's kind of tricky. Like some were easy, but probably easier because I could read the Hanzi here.、Um, but it's not so bad, right? You did really well. Yeah, it was okay. I expected worse, to be honest. Like I, I thought I would completely fail here and make a fool out of myself. I represent all the German people, considering he's only 自学两年 so he did really well. That's today's episode. If you like our video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also share this video to the friend who is learning Chinese and see if they can beat Felix. I'm Karen. I'm Didi. I'm Felix. So see you guys next time. Bye bye. 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 bye.